Number one, the old favorite, it's back, slide merging. It was patched out, but since the last update, it has been brought back. First, let's set up the display case. I'm gonna add a couple of items so that this one appears in the second slot, remove the one that's in the first slot. Prepared. Now I'm gonna go to my shelf, which I have set up already with some fish and some plants. It's just a regular shelf and I've put it on a doormat. Pick it up by the doormat and over to our display case. The display case has to be in the final position because you cannot move it after this has been done. Slide it in. Well, bam, that's it. Doesn't that look great? Slide merging is back. Number two, break merging using the flamer trap. This can also be done with PVP, but I don't have any friends, so I'm doing it with the flamer trap. Set up an item, make sure it's in line with the flamer trap. Activate it, the top one gets smashed. Now if we go to build mode, we can place this item into the other one which is currently broken. Repair it, and that's it! Beautiful. Break merge using the flamer trap can also be done with PvP if you have friends, unlike myself. Number three, drop merge using the pressure plate. There are two kinds of drop merge, and I will show you them both. This one is using the pressure plate. Now, the pressure plate has two states of being. One is when it's a bit up and one is when it's down. We need it to be down. So if it's going to be up at the moment, just store it again. Take it out again. And then if you pick it up and move it one time, it should go into the down position. Now it's down. That's how we want it to be. Here is some things I've arranged earlier. Some plants on a tire. Pick it up and put it on the pressure plate, which is in down position, and click on the bottom item. The top item sink into the bottom item. Now, if you absolutely cannot get your pressure plate to go down by storing it and getting out again, all you gotta do is place the items onto the pressure plate and then stand on it so it makes a click noise. It will work the same way, but it means you'll have to be a lot closer to what you're doing, so it's harder to see. But anyway, that's drop merge using the pressure plate. Number four, drop merge using dirt. This is pretty much the same as the pressure plate, but instead of a pressure plate, we're going to use a slightly sloping hill of dirt. Place the two items together. And then find some dirt that is slightly sloping so that the item sinks in a little bit. You click on the bottom item and the top item sinks in. That's drop merge using dirt, an oldie but a goodie. Number five, float merging using the camp machine. This one can be used to make nice kitchen sets, among other things. Just line up the initial pieces. You can toggle snapping on and off to make it easier. Once they're nicely lined up, take the bottom one and put it on the camp machine. You click on the bottom piece and the top piece goes up. Now do it again. If you're lucky, both sections will line up perfectly, like mine did. But they don't always line up perfectly, and if they don't, it's easy to fix. Just get your pressure plate out and drop merge the one that's not lined up properly 
so it goes down a bit and then put it on the camp machine again to float it just drop it then float it drop it then float it until they line up perfectly like this well that's five different forms of merging I've showed you plus I've told you about PVP so technically that's six but anyway if you like this please go and practice them and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video this is Haneke signing out see you later